They're concerned about the health and the safety of the kids. It makes him happy to do things like this, spraying thing, spraying bleach on cucumbers, apparently, and saying that the more kids that he hurts, the better. That's scary for us. He's been here for two years. What happens if our kids are contaminated with that for two years and we don't know? Our kids are supposed to be safe here. I feel like I, I, I'm feeling as a parent because I can't protect my kid in school. According to the prosecutor's office, the school district is working with the Department of Health to ensure food prep, utensils and surfaces have been properly sanitized and any food products in question have been discarded. They're also sanitized. Just throw everything away, man. Like the, uh, the daycare or whatever. Yeah, get rid of everything, man. Collecting specimens to determine any potential for infectious disease transmission. Some of the parents I spoke they wish they'd close the school while this investigation is ongoing. We're live in Upper Deerfield Township, Catherine Scott, Channel 6, Action News. Oh, let's see. Uh, uh, Oscar, I'll the line on jizz and booty juice. Yeah, man. Please no, take we ain't, we ain't keeping that. You don't deserve 20 years. You don't even be an old pervert. You need to be gone. Yeah. We take the $5 challenge via PayPal, cash up with the Super Chat, support the channel. Um, on this good Friday, man. Um we're trying to get we're trying to get um some make him go live out there with Bill. <laughs> Just blow his head off within three days. Christ. That's cruel than usual punishment, man. Um let's see this 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 story right here. Uh from the Oakland County Sheriff's Office. Fox News, Jessica Dupnack joins us live from the Oakland County Sheriff's Office with the latest. And Jessica, from what we understand, she was not an intended target here. At this point, that is the working theory here at the sheriff's office in Pontiac. Now, this all unfolded in Pontiac Saturday night around 1130. 16-year-old Desiree Childs was walking with a friend near her home. Gunfire erupted, and sadly, she was killed. Now, we talked to Sheriff Michael Bouchard just a little while ago. It sounds like they are making headway, but regardless, nothing is bringing Desiree back. She didn't get a chance to grow. She was just getting started. She turned 16 just last month. Desiree Childs likely caught in the crossfire Saturday night walking near her home in Pontiac. Once she heard the gunshot, she started to run, but she was running in the direction of bullets. Rushed to the hospital. Sadly, she didn't survive. Spaced out and panicked. Dad Romel staying strong for her siblings, trying to at least. I just wish I could have talked to her. I don't what if just to say I love you more clinging to the memory of the last time he saw her before she was murdered we do what we call uh daddy Wednesdays and I cook for him a daddy's girl he says stolen by a cold-blooded killer I don't want nobody to do no street justice let the sheriffs do their job and they are around the clock Oakland County Sheriff Michael Bouchard says as many as 20 detectives are working this case this is one of those unimaginable horrors for any parent. Sheriff says they do not believe that Desiree or the female friend she was walking with here near Johnson and Menominee were the intended targets, likely caught in the crossfire or possibly mistaken identity. We have a couple people of interest that were attempting to get clarification on what's going on uh, with them on that particular date and time. He's urging the shooter or shooters to turn themselves in for the family's sake. Either way, we're going to find you and we're going to arrest you. They're doing the unimaginable now, planning a funeral for their beloved Desiree. We'll just keep us in your prayers and put the guns down. So you know these people, in Nate? I do. And this happened on my mother's street, like two blocks away from her house, like three blocks away from my apartment. But yeah, man, that's my, uh, my teenage years all the way through school, man. My, uh best friend's stepdaughter man and uh i actually uh was sitting here in my apartment saturday night man about 11 20 i heard the gunshots and i'm like damn that's over by my boy's house you know i didn't think nothing of it because we hear gunshots all the time you know so i didn't hear shit about it and then uh monday i was actually in bed man and uh that's when i sent the 
super chat about it, man. My mom called me, was like, hey, man, you know, da, 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 such and such, da, got shot. So uh, I talked to my boy, and Monday night, same Monday, they uh, actually raided a house, like three houses down from my mom, and they arrested one of the shooters. There's two shooters. She got hit in the chest twice with two different caliber bullets. But they Ooh. caught they caught somebody, but they're not they're not talking about it yet. Like I've been I've been searching, searching and searching for it. Man, yeah. that's fucked up, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. So what's the street saying? The street saying is like mis mistaken identity or like some crossfire. Like uh, there's a mistaken identity, but there was a, a domestic uh, dispute earlier that day. There was also a shooting, and uh, apparently. This girl and her friend, they were hanging out with some people they wasn't supposed to hang out with. So they got a ride from somebody and got dropped off. And when they got dropped off, as soon as that car pulled off, another car pulled up. And that's Dang. that. Dang. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. That's yeah. wild. That's yeah. fucked up, man. My daughter just turned 16 yesterday, man. So that's just, that's yeah, fucked up. Yeah, I got, a, I got a niece, you know what I'm saying, that lives with my mom. You know, it's, and I mean, it's, it's no stranger to that kind of shit, but, you know, this is uh, the same exact family like 10 months ago when I said I knew the whole family. This is that girl's cousin that got shot in the head and left in her driveway. Wow. So, yeah. So, I mean, you know, the, that shit was right around the corner from where the uh, kid shot the lady in the, the uh, Uber driver in the back of the head. Same area as that too. Yikes! Yeah, yeah I man. did that stuff. Yeah, it's fucked up. It's fucked up in Pontiac, man. You know, it, it's it's actually like calmer than it used to be. But man, I swear, like lately, like I swear, every night for the last two years, I hear gunshots every night, and you don't hear nothing about it in the news, not the papers. You know, you barely hear anybody talking about the shit, but. I mean, for the amount of shootings there is, thank God there ain't, there ain't that many people dying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They they just the news can't even cover it all. Yeah. I mean, you, you talking about what? How what? How big of an area are you talking about? It's a uh, damn. I don't even know, man. It's not that big. Like, if you were to pull it up on Google Maps, it's a small city. Like, it's probably not even like one side of Detroit. You know, but it's still. You know, it has about 65,000 people in it. So it's not a small Ooh. city, but it's not a huge city either. 65,000. Yeah, it's a big town. Planning a funeral for their beloved Desiree. But just keep us in your prayers and put the guns down, stop the violence. Good leads here, but a little help from the public could not hurt. There's also a reward out there for Crime Stoppers. Any information leading to an arrest, that number, 1-800-SPEAK-UP. And, of course, you can stay anonymous. Reporting live in Pontiac, Jessica Dupnack, Fox 2 News. And, Jessica, I'm sure with the Oakland County Sheriff's investigators, they probably want anybody, perhaps, witnesses. Hey, how does that work? Can you stay anonymous and get a reward? Like, how does that work? I mean, you just call in the Crime Stoppers. And, you know, they just won't say your name. They're going to come talk to you, but they ain't going to put nothing in a report. You're not going to have to show up in court or nothing like that. Oh, 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 I see. But they'll know They'll know who you are. Yeah. Mm. It's heating up. It's, it's, it's heating up. The, the block is starting to start to heat up. Please take the $5 challenge via PayPal, Cash App, or the Super Chat. Please support your local um, news station. Um, we got uh, cryptocurrency. Salute to cryptocurrency. Says free Palestine. Yikes. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Didn't know we had a Mexican Nazi. Less than a week before a state here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Less than a week before a state hearing on juvenile crime, Fox 